And so hello back, uh, welcome back everyone. Uh, so in the last video we talked about uh, feature based snapping and we found that oh, hey, this, this, uh, these settings are very good with uh, helping us uh, deal with uh, the sharp corners but we still saw that the we still saw that the edges here were problematic probably because they, they weren't refined enough and that's okay so today we want to kind of uh, finalize the snap controls all right all right so we'll try a level 2 and 5 and see what happens and what what's the what's the setting so it's a level 2 5 refinement with a standard and feature iteration snap and feature snap iteration of 10 yep so so we're gonna quit save and quit and run the PX mesh hopefully this doesn't take too long should take about two minutes there about I'm gonna pause no rather I'm gonna fast forward and bring us to the results so hello yep uh, welcome okay I just said that but anyway uh, yeah fast forward done it is uh, 100 ish seconds so let's open the second uh, snappy pipe dot foam let's see what happens so I'm gonna close the old one open the new one and that should be a very much smoother again we still have these uh, problems here but it's on a much lesser uh, kind of uh, magnitude so we're going to do surface with edges you see that the problem was less pronounced as compared to before kind of I think yep. so well we'll probably do one more level of refinement maybe a level 3 refinement and then uh, we'll see what happens so again I'm going to fast forward And let's do a level 3 refinement all around. And of course, we can actually draw a box, let's say, on both ends. We can do a region based refinement. So instead of refining the whole cylinder, you can draw a box on the, both of the ends using the refinement box uh, adjustment. And then we can specify a level as well. But not going to show that in this video. No, That's where it should be quite simple to do. All we have to do is, yeah, we define two boxes, uh, two refinement boxes. And after that, uh, we'll just need to add an entry based on the refinement regions somewhere here. So we'll add the we'll add the box and then we'll add the refinement level. There should be some of this uh, in other tutorial files, but for now we'll skip it first for our simplicity. So we'll just run it as it is. Level 3 and 5. Now what that helps us to do is basically just save a lot of time. Uh, yeah. Just keeping it simple and going to run again. Fast forward again. And it's been done in about 5 minutes. Let's take a look at the mesh. Close this and I'll open, open this. Ah, looks even better this time. Okay, let's do that way. Surface with edge. And take a look at the sides. Look at the surface. Creases are all gone. Ooh. Yeah, you see the, the edges are now nicely meshed very nicely. I'm just gonna try to split it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be brutal. I'm gonna lose half of it. It's uh, nicely cut to the surface. And so we can see very good uh, resolution, a good uh, image, uh, good mesh that's being formed.
and you can still see some defects at the side but for our intents and purposes it is good enough so just to compare where we are at okay some before after pictures so look at this one that's uh we have this uh snapping to the uh, side <coughs> it's perfectly nicely snapped and this one with is with a uh, like a level two refinement so it's slightly better so there is some some kind of improvement with this level two refinement and this is level three refinement where all the edges are nicely snapped to the surface and we get the exact shape we want so yeah so probably now we want to save this all so to speak I'm gonna save it up so we can and we have kind of more or less uh, also uh, finalized our settings that we are we have wanted and we found this to be very desirable so first thing uh, this all clean is uh, will be okay and this block mesh I want to write to a log mesh not log and I don't want an icon form yet I want a Mm, snappy hex mesh and I want to use the overwrite function snappy hex mesh dot log ok then lastly I want to touch cylinder or snappy pipe dot foam so that should quit it and why am I doing this uh, Overwrite. Now this overwrite command actually prevents us from having this 0 0.05 and 0 0.01 time step. Instead, it writes the poly mesh that is in 0 0.01. There's a poly mesh file here. It will write it into the constant file here. That's what overwrite does. So, yeah, just want to check whether all things are okay, especially for all clean. Yeah, we just have the cleaning of the case. Alright. And yeah. Uh, this is all we are doing right here. Next thing is to actually get the boundary conditions up and running. Alright, so we, we want to have one inlet here. The rest of the sites are wall boundary conditions. And then the other side is kind of an outlet. So these are some of the things we want to do in the next video uh, and we are going to discuss how we're going to get that done but uh, just just for the sake of you know showing that we can do this uh, overwrite function i'm just going to start the run script okay and then it's going to run for a while say about five minutes so i'm going to fast forward and we're done <coughs> and let's look at the log so okay I'm going to scroll to the end there about so it's done in about 301 seconds let's see and it's run successfully uh, okay so again just gonna delete this too just to make sure it turns out right yep and we got the exact same pipe shape smaller pipe nonetheless but a pipe okay so we'll Next thing probably we want to do is uh, just do a simple GitHub upload. See the GitHub. So, okay, I have an existing pipe flow snappy hex mesh. So I can just name this a thin pipe flow snappy hex mesh. 
I'm going to upload it to GitHub. So this is my first Pipeflow stamping X mesh. I can do a thin version. So let's see. I'm going to make a new repository. Thin Pipeflow snappy X mesh. Thinner version of Pipeflow. Snappy pipe or cylinder geometry with snappy hex mesh. And let's get up. Okay, so I'm going to make a public repository. So I'm going to clone this. Alright, so git clone in here. Oops. Okay, I'm about to clone properly. Ah, okay. So that's done. Okay. Git status. Alright. So I'm going to go to open form files and snappy pipe. So I'm just going to do uh, do it from here. Uh, snappy pipe into this address. So let's see whether it's done properly. Yeah. Oh, all the all the stuff there. And it's uh just a zero file there. It's run it's run in the overwrite kind of a configuration. So now this is on GitHub. Oh wait, not yet. Git add Let's just sync it with git and commit. Just commit. Trump is gonna hold this up for off you get out of jail and see. Alright, so <coughs> Anyway, so uh, that is done. So I can just push it up to GitHub. So again, gonna take a while. It should be pretty fast. So we have all the files here on GitHub. Very nice. So I'm just gonna leave this in the comment section. So next time we're gonna talk about uh, creating. Uh, boundary conditions and how that is done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.